feet is in the ear of the beholder. And Antonio Ho, I thought you had a great speech because your speech serenaded my ear. And I thought I was great on a number of fronts. Number one, your smile. I think you have a great smile. And that smile shows me the confidence you have to stand up here and give your speech, whatever that may be. I also liked your speech because it was educational. And one thing that I love in this speech is learning something. And you taught me something about the retail. Other things that I liked was your presentation itself. You were professional, professionally dressed, and that to me says confidence. I'm ready to give it up here. Smile, dress. I also like the fact that you had some humor in there. Whether you knew it or not, I thought it was. Your husband in the store with the cell phone. I thought that was fine because I'm thinking, what's going to happen? So you brought a little humor to my life. A couple things that I would suggest to Antonia, if she would give the same speech again, use the stage a little bit more. She start off with the incident in the supermarket, and then move from the stage, move to another part of the story. Maybe move to another part of the stage and tell another part of the story. And in saying that, bring more of your stories to life. I would like to hear more of your personal stories about what had happened. And a little bit of dialogue. I think one of the suggestions could have been the use of humor in the store. When a husband is stuffing the cell phone in the pocket, it's like, what are you doing? Are you stealing that? No, I'm just checking the posture in my pocket. <laughs> Could use some humor like that. Your hands kept here most of the time. I would say with a professional speaker, you can keep your hands down to your side, and then you need to gesture appropriately to so bring your hands up. Like with the cell phone. I was talking on the cell phone, my husband was, and then put it in his pocket, and otherwise come back down to the side. You didn't move on the stage very much, but that's okay. You're still professional where you stood. So a couple summary suggestions. Watch the stage. Use that a little bit more effectively. Add dialogue in your speech. Because I like to hear more about the story than a narrative. Keep your hands down to your side. Stare at the audience a little bit more. So that you focus on everybody. <coughs> And with those speech, those suggestions that I have, my fellow contestants, I know that one day you'll be professional enough where you could be the next world champion of public speaking.